Let's sketch the following plane by finding where it intersects the coordinate axes. I'm going to begin by writing the equation of the plane in standard form. This is 2x minus y plus 2z minus 4 is equal to 0. A vector normal to the plane is given by the coefficients of the x term, the y term, and the z term. So remember, a vector normal to the plane has components a, b, and c. And a, b, and c for this problem are given by 2, minus 1, and 2. That's a funky 2. Let's redraw that. The standard form of an equation of a plane is an equation in this form where we have the x component of the a vector normal to the plane times the difference between the x coordinates of two points in the plane plus the b component of a vector normal to the plane times the difference in the y co coordinates of a pair of points in the plane plus the c component of a vector in the plane times the difference in the z components or the z coordinate rather of two points in the plane is equal to zero. Now we could easily sketch this plane by just looking at where the plane intersects with the coordinate axes. But for now, I want to just practice expressing the equation we have in the form of the standard equation of the plane. And we're almost there. It's very easy to do that. So for example, what if we wanted to find a point in the plane? We could find a point in this plane by looking at our coordinates for our point P0. And that those coordinates would be given by these terms in our standard form for the equation in the plane. So let's find a point in the plane. Our point in the plane won't be unique. There's an infinite number of points in the plane we could choose from. I'm going to use the information we have to find one of those points. And of course, depending on how you choose to do this, you might have different sets of points in the plane. Looking at the equation that we have, What if I associated the 4, or the minus 4 rather, with the x term? And what if I then just factored out that x term? This would give us one equation that represents the plane. In this equation, P0 has coordinates 2, 0, 0. That's a point in the plane. Okay, well, you might have said, well, what if I wanted to associate the 4, the minus 4, with the y term? Well, let's look at that. I am just going to rewrite our equation, but this time I'm going to move the 4 over so it's on the other side of the y to prepare me for writing it in standard form. This is 2x minus y plus 
4, and I'll put that in parentheses, plus 2z is equal to 0. Well, another point in the plane is given by 0, minus 4, and 0. All I did here was just choose to associate that straggling 4 with a different coordinate to express this in the standard form of an equation of, of a plane. And this is a standard form, and this is a standard form of an equation of a plane. And notice we have two equations that look different but they still represent the same plane. And what you should know is this. An equation of a plane isn't unique. I'll say that again. An equation for a plane is not unique. That's because you can have different normal vectors, for example. Our coefficients might have been 4 minus 2 and 4 equals 8, maybe. That would look different, but in, in essence, all we need is some point in the plane and a normal vector that lies um, that is perpendicular to the plane. And we can have different normal vectors of different lengths. So we can have an infinite number of different equations that can describe the same plane. Like, for example, let's associate that minus 4 with the z now. So we have 2x minus y plus 2z minus 4 is equal to 0. That is 2x minus y plus 2 times the quantity z minus 2 is equal to 0. And notice a point in the plane from here is given by 0, 0, 2. That's pretty interesting. The point in the plane for associating this way has x and y coordinates of 0 as z coordinate is 2. For the uh, for the point p naught, when we described it with this equation, we have a point 0, minus 4, 0. And then for the point um, when we described it using the equation just above this, the point is 2, 0, 0. Different equations can describe the same plane in space. This problem wants us to sketch the plane by finding where it intersects the coordinate axes. Well, looking at the points that, that we just did, notice how we have a point along the z-axis. And notice this point has a coordinate of x and y being equal to 0, both equal to 0. That would give us a point on the z-axis. Here, for a point on the y-axis, notice that x and z are both set equal to zero, or both equal to zero. And for here, a point on the x-axis, we set y and z equal to zero. So here's the thing. When sketching, when sketching, a plane, you can find the x, y, and z intercepts. And we will plot those. Plot 
v x y and z intercepts if possible you may only be able to sketch one of the intercepts and if you only have one intercept then that means the plane is parallel to one of the planes one of the coordinate axes planes or one of the planes in which a coordinate axis lies you may only Sometimes you may only be able to plot a single intercept. In those situations, it's because that the plane that you are representing is parallel to a, a, a plane for one of the pairs of coordinate axes. It might be parallel to the xy plane, for example. So again, to sketch a plane, plot the x, y, and z intercepts if possible. Then the second thing we're going to do is we're going to connect lines between the x, y, and z intercepts to make a triangle. So we will make a triangular plane. And, the, and you'll have a triangular plane if we intersect three axes. So we'll have three intercepts. Make a triangular plane from the intercepts. Again, you'll only get a triangle if you have three points, and you'll only have three points if your plane intersects the three axes. And then in your sketch, just approximate the normal vector. So we will add an n vector to the plane. That will help with perspective. Let's do this now. Let's do our sketch. Our plane is described by the equation 2x minus y plus 2z equals 4. We'll sketch this on an x, y, z coordinate system. The y-axis will be horizontal, the z-axis will be vertical, and the x-axis will be coming towards us. Let's do a set of units, or scale, rather. So we will have along the x-axis. I'll make the scale look something like that. Or that's the y-axis, rather. The z-axis, I'll make the scale be something like this. And the x-axis, I'll make the scale look something like this. So to find the intercepts, let's say we want to find the x-intercept, we have to set y equals 0 and z equals 0 to find that intercept. So if y equals 0 and z equals 0, we have the equation 2x equals 4, which means that x is equal to 2. Let's plot that. x equals 2 is right here. Now, I should have indicated my scale, so let me put a 1, 1, 1, and maybe a minus 1, minus 1, and a minus 1 right here. Here is the x-intercept. That is a point that lies in the plane. 
Now let's find the y-intercept. The y-intercept is given by setting x equals 0 and z equals 0, which means we have minus y equals 4, or y is equal to minus 4. Okay, y equals minus 4. I see I have to extend my y-axis a little bit to get out to minus 4. So here is our minus 4. And our point y is this point right here. That point also lies in the plane. Now let's do the z-intercept. The z-intercept is given by when x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0. That occurs when 2z is equal to 4, which means that z is equal to 2. That puts us right here on the z-axis. And now let's create a triangle with those three points. So here is, oops, let's redo that. Here is our triangle. And that describes a plane. And I'll just do a little bit of shading to just help with perspective. There's our plane. And let's see if we could add a normal vector to our plane. So looking at the coefficients in front of the x, the y, and the z, I see that a normal vector would be 2 minus 1 and 2. So a normal vector, if I just kind of look at my plane and were to guess what a normal vector would look like just by looking at the plane, I think I would sketch something that looks roughly like that. 